Did you know that tampons have been used by soldiers to treat gunshot wounds since the Vietnam War? Yeah, I didn't know that either. But this new piece of science tech takes treating bullet wounds to the next level. The evolutionary new bullet wound tampon expands to stop the bleeding in a matter of seconds. Rather than having a medic apply pressure from the outside, the small expanding sponges are injected into the wound cavity and apply pressure from within. The combination of pressure and absorption stops bleeding almost immediately. Each sponge also contains a marker that you can detect with an x-ray to make sure none of those little sponges get lost inside. Science news, our producer Beck has gone vegan again, which means she's gonna be cranky and annoying for the next two weeks until she ultimately gives up on her new diet and starts eating meat again. Did I mention that meat is delicious? But Beck is right to try because not only are most slaughterhouses pretty rough, but beef is pretty much the worst thing we can possibly do to our planet. Cows are responsible for about 15% of greenhouse gas emissions. So beef is worse than all the cars, trucks, planes, and boats in the whole world. But hopefully sometime in the not too distant future, wannabe vegans everywhere won't have to give up meat in order to be ethical. Lab grown meat has been available since 2013, but it cost almost half a million dollars for one hamburger. And it wasn't all that tasty. But scientists predict they'll be able to produce a burger patty for under 10 bucks in just five years time by using tissue from real cows and growing the muscle cells in massive incubators, making real beef, just not from an animal. And it's not just beef. New Wave Foods, a San Francisco startup, have created synthetic popcorn shrimp by combining red algae, something that shrimp normally eat to get that pink color, with protein powder. So guys, this is just another example of how investing in science like research and development can make our world better. Not just for the cows and the chickens and the pigs, but for all the humans who live on the planet who won't be gassed to death by the methane of our future Philly cheesesteaks and Big Macs. Hashtag science. So guys, what do you think? Would you eat lab grown meat? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.